30. We are staying on top of a breaking news story. Our Call 16 brought you first here on RTV6. The investigation into the deaths of the two teenage Delphi girls is expected to take a major turn today. And we have live team coverage this morning from our Call 6 Investigates team. Let's start first with Rafael Sanchez from our live desk. Good morning, Rafael. Here, here at the Call 6 Live Desk, we are getting already some reaction to our breaking news story. As you already know, this is Abby and this here is Libby and Libby's granddad, Mike Patty, already telling us here at the live desk that whatever information comes out in his own words, please spread the information once that comes out. So again, from Mike Patty, please spread the information once we get all those details. There is no shortage of people wanting to find the prime suspect in this case. Today, identifying the man seen by Abby and Libby could become much, much easier. Call 6 Investigates Paris LaBelle is live in Studio A with what we could expect to learn later this morning. Paris. That's right, Raphael. Call 6 Investigates can confirm this morning that police will release new evidence in the Delphi case. While no arrest has been made yet, multiple sources tell us today's release will help the public recognize who is responsible for the girl's murder. Now, police have been working around the clock since the two girls were found dead a little more than five months ago on February 15th. Back in February, police released an audio clip and pictures of who they say is the prime suspect in the case. And since then, police have tracked down thousands of leads in this case. But since those pictures and that audio clip have been released, police haven't given any more details or evidence in this case because they want to protect a lot of the specifics of the investigation. And those specifics are only things the police and the killer know. Now, Raphael, investigators are optimistic this release later today will bring them closer to their motto. Today is the day and will allow someone at home to call in that one tip that will break this case. And Paris, the big question now at 630 is why is that information going to be released today? After so many months, after thousands of tips, why is today the day for this information? Raphael, it's not because of lack of leads. Police are still tracking down leads every single day. They've had tens of thousands of tips resulting in thousands of different leads over the past five months. Sources tell us some of those leads and little bits of information have led to the new information that will be seen being released later today. Paris, thank you so much. Paris LaBelle leading our coverage this morning here on Good Morning Indiana. Abby Williams often told her family, is there anything I can do to help? Libby German would often ask her family, give me one more minute. Both families have made it their personal plea to ask you to take just one more minute and call police with any information. We've asked everybody to give her that other minute. Do it now before something horrific happens again. To look at this stuff, to, to think. This guy put behind bars so he can't hurt anybody else. He could put a stop to this. There's never going to be true justice for us because you can't bring the girls back. You could bring closure to this this portion of the case. To close your eyes and listen to that voice. That if you can stop him, that's the best we can do. And so today, the latest piece of information that we're expecting could help solve this case. So when you give the girls one more minute, hopefully you can help solve this case. Investigators are welcoming any tips at this moment. You can call a toll-free number. That number is 844-459-5786. That is the latest from the live desk. We'll keep on top of the story as it develops throughout the day. Now back to you in Studio A.